The UK Climate Change Committee told MPs that British households and businesses would face only a modest cost for reaching net zero emissions by 2050. They were asked for their cost calculations under freedom of information legislation, but refused to give it, even claiming they had lost the spreadsheet. After two years of legal battles and tens of thousands of pounds, they were forced by the Information Tribunal to release their figures in August 2021. These are the figures that the UK government base all their green policies on. So what were they hiding? They forecast that by 2021, this year, electric cars will be cheaper than petrol or diesel vehicles, when in fact they are two to three times the cost. Even though the committee knew that this was incorrect now, they refused to change their figures. There are not even enough raw materials in the world just to replace our 38 million light vehicles we have in this one country. So demand for batteries is going to really accelerate and so are prices, thus making the two trillion pounds cost a very conservative figure. Of course, here we've only dealt with one cost, transport costs. But the actual costs on power supply, electricity and gas, well, I don't have to tell you. Just look what's happening today. And it's happening because of the green policies that are based on these truly absurd figures that the Committee for Climate Change has actually tried to hide and had to be forced to disclose. Allowing for all the hidden subsidies, etc. Today, UK electricity prices are 40% higher than they should be because of green policies. But this is just the beginning. If Boris carries out his mad vanity policies on green energy, it is going to ruin our economy. All the policies are based on fundamentally flawed data. And this is just the beginning of the analysis of the climate change costs. To understand much more about what is going on with this green madness, please watch my climate realism videos.